Let's now look at how to add file links to our portfolio. Again, navigating to the portfolio area of the web and drilling down to the NTFL page. We have the uh, embedded content um, added previously, but what I've done here is highlighted in blue content that arises from file links that we're going to embed within this document. And among these we have, of course, the uh, PowerPoint slideshow, the OCR document, the desktop publishing link, the spreadsheet, our logo uh, link, and a link to a graphical organizer. Well, let's start with the um, PowerPoint slideshow and notice that there are actually three subordinate links here. There's uh, the native PowerPoint version, the PDF version, and then the single web file version, the MHTML version. Well, in order to create an embedded file link, here's what we do. I'm going to click and drag on PPT, which will be the uh, PowerPoint link, and then on the toolbar, we're going to click on, click on the link tool, and what we want to do is click on the link type drop-down and select file link. What we need to do now is browse to find our content. And the first uh, item there is uh, the PowerPoint slideshow itself. So I'm going to click on that and click open. And then click on the link button to link it in. I'll then click and drag on the PDF link, click on the link tool. Now we're defaulting to file link format because that's what we used previously. We'll browse to the PDF version of our slideshow, click open, click link. Now you'll notice by the color change that this is, this is, an, this is embedded as a file link. I'll then click on MHTML click on the link tool. Now we're defaulting to file link. I'll browse for the MHTML version, the single web file version. And by the way, we can click once and click open or I can just double click on that to, uh, to select it and then click link once again. Now, um, as far as the OCR document and the desktop publishing document and the, the remaining uh, documents are concerned, the same uh, techniques going to apply. I'm going to highlight PDF for the PDF version, select link, browse. Again, here we're looking for the OCR document, OCR text, open link, the desktop publishing document is also a PDF link so we'll browse immediately to find it that's a flyer here it is open and link our spreadsheet file now this is a little different that's an XLS file or a an Excel file we'll browse for that that's our grade book open it link it and two to go. We have a link, a PDF uh, file link containing our logo procedures from the logo exercise. And here it is in PDF format. And finally, the graphical organizer that we're going to create as part of the uh, graphical organizer unit. We'll browse for it. Here it is, graphical organizer. Click open and link. If we then preview this page, we can test a few of these, and that's always a smart thing to do. Again, you might have this pop-up blocker uh, message that you'll have to click past. But uh, here's the uh, NTFL portfolio page, and I wanted to scroll down and try a few of these things out. Here's the OCR document link. All I have to do is click on it, and it comes up. I can click the back arrow. Here's the PowerPoint slideshow.
And here's a link to our Excel document, which we'll just open in a separate window. And there you have it.